Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm the SolidWorks nerd and today we're going to do something special. So over on the SolidWorks subreddit, there's this guy named PBJames23 who made this incredible space-time coffee table design concept. And it is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Props to this guy because, wow, that, that is really, really cool. So, so anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Just boot up a new part file and a sketch on the top plane. And of course, let's just draw a square for the for the perimeter of the coffee table and make it whatever size you like. I'm going to make it 36 by 36. I'm going to achieve that by making an equal relation between the two legs of the square. So once you have that, exit the sketch and just go for a simple extrude. And of course make it as tall as you want. This is this is just um just to your liking. So there you go, we have a cube now. Not, nothing too special. And of course when I when we go about making the fabric of space and time, I could just make um, an initial cut extrude over here and linear pattern um, throughout the block. But it would be, become more difficult because then you have to kind of calculate how many you want and the wall thicknesses. Luckily SolidWorks has a tool for that and that is fill pattern right here. So with fill pattern you can select, first off you need to select a face, we'll select that top face right there and select a pattern layout, you can select a staggered kind of deal. But we want things arranged in a grid so we, we'll choose a square right there and it has the option to create a seed cut for you which is which is awesome so you hit that and as you can see it's just giving us a couple of little circles but um, the fabric of space time isn't made of circles right we're just we, we need some squares so we'll just do that and they look a little small so you can just use a spin box to make them to your liking just gonna make it a little bigger there you go. Make those walls a uh, wall slightly thinner. But anyway, when you have it um, looking how, how you want, with the right density, right size, right wall thickness, whatever, you just hit OK, and there you go. We've created the fabric of space time in SolidWorks. Now, what we can what we can do is create the in the whole black hole effect that he has going on there, and that's going to be a fun time. So for that, we're gonna um, put a sketch on the uh, I'm gonna put it on the front you could also put it on the right but let's just put it on the front and let's go get a spline up in here so there's our spline um, only two points I like to work with uh, as simple splines as possible so I'm just gonna leave it like that and just so I can have an extra degree of um, control and defining it I'm gonna convert it into a style spline which I really adore these spot style splines so that's nice and all but I think the degree is too high um, I'm gonna take it down to degree 2 by selecting one of the points and, and hitting delete yeah which is totally fine so there we go we can much e much e e easily uh, we can control this spline a lot easier now so let's go ahead put a vertical relation on that horizontal on that and keep in mind that the midpoint, the midline is right here, and this is going to be eventually the top surface of our. It's going to be the top surface of our uh, our table here. So just keep that in mind when you're moving it around, making it look just right. And also um, avoid the temptation to snap this right here because what happens is um, we're eventually going to revolve this and it at least needs to reach to this cor to this particular corner over here because the diagonal of a square is longer than its uh, the side to side distance so yeah just um, overbuild your spline a little bit and that looks pretty good and I'm just gonna leave it under defined like that that way uh, we can that way we can uh, go back and just drag things around very easily and it um, looks like I picked up an extra relation by accident. I don't want it right there. That's totally fine. 
Yeah, you just got to be careful that um, the relations that you ask for are the are what you actually want. So I want I want this to be along here, but I want to be able to move it like that. So there, it looks pretty good. So there's the top surface. And uh, before we do anything with this, I'm going to sketch the what's eventually going to be the bottom surface. So let's go grab another spline, of course, and uh, just get it kind of close. And I'm just going to go back to a style spline. Style spline. There we go. And that's of degree 2. And contrary to the other case, I think I want a 1 degree higher. So I'm going to right click on it. And put in con uh, insert control vertex. Whoops. And I failed to do that. Right there. Very nice. And what I think I'm going to do. Make that horizontal. Make that horizontal. And now we can go ahead play around with this. It's, look, it's looking pretty close, actually. It's looking like a pretty decent thickness. Move that up just a smidge. And move this out. There we go. And again, I'll just leave this underdefined for now. So there you go. But now we, what we need to do, um, you can go to your surfaces. And if you don't have that tab, of course, you can right click and add it. Go to your surfaces. And let's make a revolve surface. Actually, before I do that, we need an axis to revolve around, right? So let's create that right now. And what I'm going to do is um, select the front plane and the right plane. And I'm going to make the intersection of these two planes our new axis. So with those two selected, open up a not a plane. So with those two selected, open up the axis tool and it'll automatically make the intersection um, an axis. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and revolve our surface. We'll pick the first guy right there. And as you can see, it reaches to the ends and cuts it. Well, it will eventually cut it with that, but it's looking pretty good. So there's our first surface, and just rinse and repeat for this other guy over here. All right, fantastic. So now what tool we can use is um, a cut with surface. So what this does is you select a surface, and it'll give you a direction to cut all the material away from. And as you can see, there is a small arrow saying that it wants to eat all the stuff underneath, which is not what we want. We want it to eat this stuff. So. I'll click on the arrow to tell it to go the other way or you can click that and just hit OK and there's the first the top surface is looking pretty good and uh, of course just do that again with this bottom surface there you go and this time it picks the right way fantastic ooh that seems a little bit strange so yeah, it didn't come out the way exactly what I wanted, but with how these kind of curve out like that, but we can go we can go ahead and fix that. So we're just gonna go ahead, go back here and edit our sketch like this. Just move that like that. Fantastic, I like it. it makes the feet look a lot cleaner. But isn't that incredibly creative and doesn't take doesn't take too much features at all. Hide that axis. And let's go change the material, make it look all pretty. You had it as a wood. Uh, how does this look? That looks pretty nice. It's probably what he has actually. So I put maple there and doesn't that look really cool? And of course, you can uh, do a small cut so to fit like a pane of glass or something like that. But that's basically that's basically the method.